The Good Doctor. What's eating Gilbert Grape? Atypical. All three are well-known examples of media with male autistic characters. But what's wrong with that? Well, representation is crucial no matter who you are. Growing up biologically female, I've had this huge weight on my shoulders because I didn't fit in with everyone else about how simple tasks like maintaining eye contact or understanding other people's sarcasm didn't come as second nature to me as it did with everyone else. About how I grew up with autism meaning introverted and wickedly smart. <laughs> when I was just average at everything. The only thing noticeable about me was that I loved reading and that I was kind of good at it too. And that's because the ratio of boys being diagnosed with autism and girls is three to one. 25% of all boys are diagnosed with autism before the age of six, when for girls, it's only 8%. And before the age of 11, 50% of all autistic boys are diagnosed, when for girls, once again, the figure is much lower, only 20. I'm part of that remaining 80%, 14 and undiagnosed. <laughs> and the possibility of me being autistic was only realized last year, after a string of sensory overloads. Now, if you're not aware of what a sensory overload is, let me paint you a picture. You're sitting in class, working out of a textbook, and all you can focus on is the paper sticking to your hand and your school uniform scratching all over you, stri strangling you at the neck. And that kid sitting next to you won't stop licking their pen no matter how many times you've asked them to stop. And the lights are buzzing, the currents so apparent to you, yet ignored by everyone else. And you can't speak, because being overwhelmed takes away your ability to speak and everyone's staring at you. Why? Because you put your ear defenders on. You're one barrier from the outside world. It sounds like hell, right? Well, for me, that'll be pretty much a daily occurrence. And I'm telling you this because autism is chronically underdiagnosed within the female population. Because I grew up not fitting in because I tried to conform to society, but I didn't do it right. About how I got my first friend at the age of nine, years after everyone else did. But more importantly, because I want everybody to be a little bit kinder and a little bit more understanding, because this world wasn't built with everyone in mind.